All right, so number eight is um, consider the following quadratic function. Reduce all fractions, lowest terms. Find the vertex. So you've got x squared plus 4x minus 3. You've got to find the vertex, which is negative b over 2a. And then you plug that back in. Negative 4 over 2 times 3. So negative 4 over oh, no, 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 no. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. The A value is 1, not 3. Duh. Okay, but that's only the first the first number of the vertex. So to get it, the F second number, you plug it back in. So negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 3. So you plug it back in. That's how you're going to get the next number here. So it's 4 minus 8 minus 3, negative 7. So the vertex is negative 2, negative 7. I would punch that in my calculator and check to make sure I was right. Not in, in, in that order, I would do it in, not any other order. <laughs> you got to show your work. You got to show you know. Uh, What's step two ask for? Anything in particular? Oh. That means you set equal to zero and solve. If you're going to find an intercept, that's like find the zeros. You know, set it equal to zero and solve. That'd be awesome if it factored, right? <laughs> Problem is, that's a negative. So these signs have to be offsetting. And you got to get four. And there's no way you can use 1 and 3 to get the 4 there. So, quadratic equation it is. And your A value is 1. Your B value is 4. C value is negative 3. So negative 4 plus minus the square root of 4 squared. 4 times 1 times Plug all that junk in there. I reckon you come up with negative 4 plus minus the square root 16 plus 12, 28 over 2. I tell you what would be wrong. I'll do this in red. Show sure it would be wrong. Is reducing it like that and then stopping. Or saying that's 14 underneath there. That's wrong. This is like a little jail cell. That puny two can't get inside the jail cell here to kill off this 28. Only way that you can get something, the only way you can reduce this down is if there's a number in front of the radical that two can work with. The two can work with this guy, but it doesn't get rid of the two. It has to have something here for this. So you could have wrote it negative two plus minus. That two is still there. Okay, but we need to, we can actually simplify square root of 28. This is correct now. I shouldn't have done that in red. So this is correct. This is incorrect to do that right there. 28. So what? How could you break down 28? Four times seven, and the four would come out as a two. So that would be two square root of seven over. 2, and the 2's would cancel now, so negative 2 plus minus the square root of 7. The directions say simplify as much as possible, so if you get to here in green and just leave that there, you're going to probably take off for it, and if you do it wrong, they're going to take off for it, so you just you might as well just try it and see. But you could plug this into the graphing calculator. Then, remember how you hit second trace? We look at the graph, hit second trace, and plug two, negative 2 plus square root of 7, hit enter. It'll, it'll show you that that's an intercept. I do that, but I don't have my calculator with me.
So plug in uh, the formula, hit graph, hit second trace, and plug these dudes in and see if it's and uh, see if it's not the x intercept. Is it order pairs they want it? Yeah. Oh, order pairs. Okay, so uh, it's x. They're x intercepts, so it's negative two plus the square root of seven, comma zero. Negative two minus the square root of seven, comma zero. So you want order pairs for the x intercepts. Number nine is a little bit easier. That's the same questions, but it's a little bit easier. So. It actually gives you this uh, negative x plus 2 squared minus 3. Yeah? So, you can look at that and that was the vertex. Right. That's legal. That's the vertex. Yeah. Okay, that's the vertex. But then, if you want to find the x intercepts, you set that dude equal to 0 still. Did it ask for it? Yeah, I mean, it says that. Yeah. For this? None what? Oh. Well, there might be non real answers. There's x intercepts. Actually, there's not any x intercepts. If, you'd ask, if it asked for what the zeros were, then you'd have zeros. <laughs> Yeah, if, if you move the 3 over, yeah, just don't. And you're going to take a square root of that negative 3, and that's not possible. So no intercepts. So that would be how you would show your work to say there's no inter intercepts. That doesn't mean there's not zeros. Remember how if... if this question just said, find the x-intercepts of this function. X-intercepts, there aren't any x-intercepts because the graph doesn't hit the x-axis because you get a negative 3 right here. Square root of negative 3. But if the question was just solve this, solve this, then you would go through here and it would be negative. You take the square root of negative 3 because you get the i's and everything. That you can do. Those are the zeros. But if it says x-intercepts, there is none. It's confusing. Jennifer, is that confusing? Is that confusing? You're good. I knew you were. What about you, Jennifer? Class is full of Jennifer's.